one thing that will do for you is that it will suit the pain and at the same time it will help you to dry up your breast milk easily you know this time you can't express the breast milk because as you express your body will keep telling you to be producing milk and you to my youtube channel i am christina kelvin in the new year and i film on faith motherhood parenting christian lifestyle from lagos nigeria and yes this is officially my first video of 2022 happy new year guys happy new year to you all from wherever you're watching from in the world yes you know it's been it's been an eventful year actually it's been with so of course I've, I've uploaded a video this year but trust me that video i uploaded wasn't recorded this year so this is officially my first video of the year i mean <laughs> my recorded video of the year this is officially my video of the year and yes as you can already tell by the title of this video i'll be giving you tips on how to successfully and stresslessly win your baby off breast milk and the number one point that will be given in my very short period of actually being a mother i've come to realize that you see motherhood is not for babies actually yeah that's the truth and um it's for it's for the stronger hearted and that is actually why this first import this first point or the first tip is actually very important because you have to be mentally ready that is my first point that is my first tips i will give you when you want to win your baby yeah be ready don't let anybody rush you into winning your baby off breast. Don't be pressurized. Don't be pushed. And that was why I said mother was actually for the strong hearted because when it comes to mothering, when it comes to motherhood, there will be different people giving different ideas, different suggestions, you know, different tips. But the most importantly, I mean, above all, is that you should be mentally prepared, which is very, very important. I remember my mom telling me even before my baby club to want that she'll win her off breast and all that but because i wasn't prepared and i wasn't ready i didn't give in to their advice and that is what i will tell you do not give don't be pressurized especially when it comes to murdering do not be pressurized in doing anything do things at your own pace and the way you think is convenient and easy for you and that is my first tip the second tip that I'll be giving you gradual withdrawal. Yes, no matter what people are telling you, gradual withdrawal will make it stressless and stress free. Yeah, so I will advise you practice gradual withdrawal. Yes, don't stop the baby off milk, off breast milk abruptly. It is emotionally, mentally, and even twice not advisable. And exactly, and that was exactly what I did for my baby. You know, I started on a slow pace. You know, peradventure your baby has been feeding on breast for probably four or five times a day. Try by reducing it to maybe three times at first. Reduce one, take one off the time she will feed, he or she will feed on you. And replace it with a bottle or probably a snack or a meal. Yes, that is very, very important. The top point is that allow your baby to lead you. Yes, by the time your baby is, you know, has gotten a hang on taking solids, and you've established that routine even if it is just twice a day or once a day if the baby has established a solid feeding routine then um, you can actually think of winning him or she off breast yeah allow your baby to lead look take cues yeah that's the point take cues from your baby you don't just do things based on you it is the two of you that is involved in this now so also look at cues look for cues in your baby yeah i i, I observed that my baby could actually go six hours without breast yeah once she sees something to nip on when she see when she sees something to eat so she could go six six hours without breast and so you know that was that that, that gave me a cue, cue that was a cue for me that okay you know what let me start preparing myself mentally for winning this baby off breast yes another thing i will actually want you to do is also to be emotionally there for your little one <laughs> you see especially in this side of the world in africa get grandparents who advise you bring the baby over bring him or she over will win him or her for you don't do i be well this is what i did and that is actually what i'm advising you to do be emotionally present for your baby see the idea of you just separating 
from your baby because you want to win your baby is not a good one for me and i feel like it's not a good one even on the baby so i don't i did not like the idea i remember my mom sister my mom telling me that i should bring her over especially during christmas she was like she didn't breastfeed her into 2022 so i should bring her over for christmas and you know during the festive period while i'm away she will get over it i said no so that will also advise you because see that emotional comfort is also very very important it's not just about you winning them it's also about you assuring them that you know what this is gonna be fine this is the face and we're gonna pass we're gonna you know we're gonna go through it together so in a way to actually make building a bond between you and your children gets stronger you know for me breastfeeding is actually a way by which we build bonds between it's actually a way by which the mother and the baby actually build bonds yeah so taking out and um, breastfeeding in a way where well, well, that was what i was thinking though that the bond between me and my little one are actually reduced but if you were there for the baby there won't be reduction in the bonding and you know the loving and all that and we actually inserting some of the clips of how it went when i was actually winning my baby off off breast milk yeah I, I might be including some of the clips here for you to see another thing the most difficult part of actually winning a baby off breast is the ninth time um you know <laughs> winning yes and i can say that well people say it's always very shy as, as i've said i've heard so many horrible stories yeah and i'm not saying that those stories are wrong or right but for me i didn't have i've prepared my mind for so much so it happened that well probably yeah i'm sure that god actually came through for me it made it so stressless because i did it all alone even when i went my baby my husband wasn't around so it was just me and her in the house and yeah in the meantime i've gotten all our snacks that i know that all the snacks i know that she loves i got yogurt i got um you know i got yogurt i got pie i got different snacks cheese ball and all that and for the first night when my baby woke up you know she already has a thing around you know going to my breast i'm just sucking on and all that but before i slept that night i wore a gown you know <laughs> so obviously she could not get through to the breast and yeah so it became a struggle not really a struggle i i i actually handed her over i handed um, a bottle over to her she flinged the bottle i gave her another snack she flinged i everything i actually gave her the first night she threw them away her me her you know i got um i got a little bit i feel i got a little bit emotional yeah because i was feeling for her she was crying and the only thing I know could suit her was actually breast, but I didn't want to offer breast. So what I did was I carried her on my chest. I sang for her. I sang for her. You know, I distracted her a little bit. I played Coco Melon for her on my phone. Then after that, I offered her a bottle again. She rejected it. I offered her snacks, cheese bar, and she rejected. So what I did was, okay, mama, it looks like you're hungry, right? Should I make a meal for you? so then i prepared a cereal i mean that was around 12 midnight or probably one midnight so i did that and she collected the cereal from me well oh good girl fine when she was well fed around one my baby went back to sleep peacefully then i think two three hours after she woke up so when she when, when she woke up two three hours afterwards i offered her a bottle now water I gave her water so she accepted even right there lying down she accepted it and she slept back okay three two hours after she woke up again so now i uh, i studied the pattern of her waking and requesting for something so another thing for night um, winning is that know the pattern of your baby so i studied a pattern so it got registered in my mind that okay it's like this baby wakes two to three hours each time of the night to actually suck breast so i'm prepared like i already set my alarm two to three hours i'll wake up and offer her something even before she is wide awake so that really really helped me and i believe that this will actually help any mother out there you know so study the pattern of your baby especially for the night winning for the midnight winning 
which will actually help you a lot another thing that is actually very stressful and you can actually that is actually very stressful with um winning of breast milk is on your own part too as the mother you're gonna have engorged breast yes so you must be prepared for that don't even let that get catch you on away don't let that cut you on away you're gonna have an engorged breast and handling and breast engorgement is actually very important so the first night the very first day i mean she didn't feed she didn't um suck a breast for throughout the day and we're already going into the night that very night i already have i already bought i you know i did a little bit of research yes so i got cabbage and i have them stored up in my fridge what you actually want to do is to let the lactating hormone know that you know what we are done breastfeeding here so stop producing milk so you have to stop anything you have to stop any sucking any expressing another important tip that i'll also give you is that you should pray about it you know prayer can do wonders <laughs> i do i can't pray about anything i pray about anything so and i always advise people to also do the same yes i prayed about it and i asked god like god you know what just make this face stressless for me and he did so if you believe the face will be stressless for you and you abandon it over to god it will be and if you do if you believe otherwise definitely it will also be so do you want to hand it over to god motherhood is god's idea so you can't do it by yourself just tell god to take the boost from you and help you through the journey yes so the we each time i tell people that i actually win this baby by myself without taking him without taking out the dramas without you know having people around me probably midnight to actually carry on and all that they were always surprised like wow how did you do it so fast and how it's not because i'm a super woman or anything it's just because i have handed it over to god and apart from that I was emotionally and mentally ready that is actually very important don't be pressurized don't be pushed take your time if you can breastfeed your baby for two years it's a choice whatever you choose to do with your baby is your choice it is your baby and no one's baby okay so don't let the society or our African culture dictate what you will do with your child take your time if you can breastfeed your baby for two years it's a choice whatever you choose to do with your baby is your choice it is your baby and no one's baby okay so don't let the society or our african culture dictate what you will do with your child to you do what you are comfortable with that is what i will actually tell you so once you know you're ready you're mentally emotionally and you know prepared and you've taken cues from your child knowing fully well that probably even before you stop winning this child can go six hours more than that without even asking for breast yeah so you should know that as a cue for you to know that oh you know what this baby is getting ready for winning and at the same time be emotionally there for your child even though they've given you cues that they, they you know what they want to get off breast there is it's still normal for them to still feel being uh, um it's still normal for them to still reject whatever you're giving them at first so just take it slow take it slow on yourself take it slow on your on the baby and then how to handle your engorgement all these things are very important are actually the tips all, all these are actually the tips i want to share with you and that i practice that worked for me and make that face stress if there are other tips that you can also that you also know of, but i didn't mention in this video please do well to leave it down below in the comment section i'll be reading through the comment section i know that other mothers like me or you too will definitely be in the comment section reading people's opinion and reading tips on how to stresslessly win their baby if this video has blessed you do well to give me a massive thumbs up like share subscribe if you haven't and i will see you in my next video bye for now